What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with Exapunks, which is a hacking game that involves programming little robots to do all sorts of different tasks in order to make money to trade for illegal pharmaceutical drugs to save ourselves from some incurable phage virus on a daily basis. So it might seem a little bit confusing, but it's a really, really awesome game and it actually involves a fair amount of programming and it just uses its own sort of language. So right away, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta find a source for bootleg medication. So we're gonna talk to Nevis, I guess, and uh, see what they have to say. Every day, more of my body is turned into junk. I feel like this is some sort of zombie virus. Hey, can you hear me? I heard you were looking for some medicine for the phage. For the phage, okay. Yeah. Looks like you definitely need it. It's cheaper than the real deal, but it's still gonna be pricey. The going rate is 700 a dose. You need to take one dose every day. Right, so like the most expensive yeah, zombie medication. Dollars. Sorry, I don't set the prices. I'm just a courier. It's not like any of that money goes to me. Every salesman always will tell you that the money will never actually go to them. All right, so we need to make $700 in order to get a pill to cure ourselves from the zombie apocalypse. So let's get right into the workhouse, which is clearly the way to do this. And what do we got to do here? You'll be shown images of receipts generated in the course of a normal every business day. All right, so we just have to enter in all the items off the receipt, I guess. This better make a $700. There's no way this is going to make a $700. This is the most expensive order of stuff all right so we've got all the orders submitted our account balance is zero come on big money we earned 10 cents wow a whole 10 cents yeah no I, i'm impressed as well congratulations thanks you only need to do 6999 more of these and you'll have enough for today okay no problem um who is this don't worry about that right now oh okay you'll need to start hacking again though Okay, one no hack, problem. One dose. No Easy. problem. So the game will walk us through some basic tutorials, and I actually did play these originally because there is a little bit of a PDF document that you have to download in order to understand some of the code. They've got their own sort of custom language, and it's really, really cool. And uh, I think that's what Gast here. Gast looks like he means business. Gast. I knew his real name once, but that's gone now. Can't hack like I used to. Okay. Whatever edge I had, it's gone now. But I had to keep doing something. Something to keep the culture alive, you know? Keep the hacking culture alive, gotcha. Computers are running everything these days. Before long, human beings aren't even gonna have a say. This guy's deep. He's really deep. So now I equip people with knowledge. The knowledge to make a computer do what you want on your terms. So he gives us like a C++ manual and says, here you go. Anyway, I won't keep you. Hope you like what you see in the zine. In the zine? Oh, the magazine. Okay. So this is the PDF that basically steps you through the basic instructions that the game has. And I went through this already just so I wouldn't be a complete and total noob. All right. So we're into our first hack here, which is really just tutorial. And it's really simple. It says move file 200 to the outbox. This task, like most tasks, requires you to leave no trace. You must terminate all of your XAs. So we can create new XAs. It's an executable robot. And each one contains a custom code that we write. And then we can actually take those custom codes and do all sorts of different things. So it's really, really cool and involves us actually writing some hacking. So I'm pretty sure uh, we link 800, which is gonna move us to the 800 address. So it's gonna move us from this platform, linking through this 800 bit. And then we grab 200, is it, I think it's grab 200. And that'll grab the 200 file and then link 800 again. And then to terminate the XA, we go halt and that'll kill the program. So we can step through it to make sure it works. Link 800, yes. Grab 200, perfect. Link 800, yes. Halt, perfect. So test run complete. So now we have to run another 99 simulations, which you can just kind of skip through. Really simple stuff. Really simple program. All right, next hack. People or animals are often motivated by the anticipation of a reward. Are you anticipating the medication's reward? Um, yeah, that's not a reward. Like, I need that to not die. That's kind of the way this game goes. I'm pretty sure I'm turning into a zombie. Yeah, it's about survival. Exactly. All right, so in this one, we got to actually look at what's in a file. So you can see this is a file here, file 200. 
and it contains 72, 52, 4, and 60. So what we got to do is add the first two values of the file 200, multiply the result by the third value, and then subtract the fourth value, append the result to the end of the file, and move it to the out box. So first thing we're going to do, obviously, is uh, link 800 to jump over, and then we're going to grab 200, which is the file. Now, we have a couple variables here on the side with each XA. We've got X, we've got T, we've got F, and we've got M. F represents the file that you're in. M is used for passing variables between multiple XAs. If we created a second one, you could have a global variable or a local, so you can use it as either. T is a test variable, so when you make an if statement, the T returns the yes or no answer for the if statement. And the X is a, just a random variable that you can store information in. So it's a really, really cool sort of thing. Now. We got to do a bunch of functions to 200. So it says add the first two values of 200. So we're going to copy the file to X and that should copy the first index to X. And then we're going to go add I of X to F to X. So the way this code works, it's saying we need to add the X value to the file value and then store that in the X variable position. Every time you access a file, it skips the index automatically with that file. So it automatically moves us forward. So it's really, really cool sort of hacking. So we got to add first, uh, multiply the result by the third value. So I think multi is just mul i x f x again, and then subtract the fourth value. I believe that's sub i x f x, and then append the results to the end of the file and move it to the out box. I can't remember what the, how do you append it to the file? Uh, or did I do that? Sub e x f f? Is that, does that do it? I think I can just do that. Instead of writing it to x, I write it to f. I think that'll work. We can actually, let's just step through this to make sure. So it's going to link 800. It's going to grab 200. It's going to copy F to X. So you can see X became 72 up here. Uh, and then we add it together and then we multiply it and then we subtract it. And then it puts it to the end. All right. And then we just need to go back and finish the rest of the instructions. So I think that works. And then we just link 800 again. And then we uh, halt and that should destroy our exabot. So hopefully this works. Did that? Okay, so I think this works, right? So link, boom, boom. Leave no trace. Test run complete. Fantastic. All right, look at that. Perfect. So there are many different ways to write the code in this game. These tutorials are obviously very simple. They're running through just, you know, one straight line of stuff. Of course, you want to write your code as efficiently as possible. Look at that. Perfect. Right in that low end. All right, tutorial three. What do you think of your situation overall at the moment? I wonder if these questions make a difference in the game. Do they actually, does like this record, do we get different outcomes? I wonder if the game's that complicated or if it actually is just sort of like a, a thing. But what do you think of your situation at the moment? Or, why all the questions? Yeah, seriously. Are, I am collecting data. All right, so file 199 contains exactly two values, a keyword and a number. Create a new file in the outbox and copy these two values to it swapping their order so that the number is first when you are finished delete file 199 so the problem is you can see here on this secret platform we have to go to there's no return address so on these it says 800 and negative one we could always come back but here we can't come back so we're going to need to create a new xa and do some crazy stuff so xa1 you're going to go link 800 and then you're going to link 799 and you're going to jump ahead to the secret location and grab 199. You'll grab that file. And uh, XB is going to link 800 and then link 800 again. And that'll bring them to the outbox. And then we're going to have to pass the values between. So we got to create a new file. All right. So I think to make a new file, we just have to make and then we have to start passing values. So we have to pass the value, swapping the order so that the number is first. Okay. So we can swap the order with this one. So really simply, we can just go copy FX. And then we can send the data to the other one. So we can go copy FM and then copy XM, I believe. And that'll send it to the global variable. And then here we copy M to F and then copy M to F again. And I believe the way this works is when you put a variable into the global variable, it's not going to step forward in the line of code until that global variable gets cleared. But I'm not sure. Let's just test this to make sure. So link, link grab copies it to x copies it to m it grabs m writes to the file grabs it halts both oh delete file 199 you just type wipe and then that should delete file 199 we can step through this again so xb xa jumps writes data to it perfect deletes done test run complete to run a million test runs 
perfect. Ooh, people actually did that with less code. That's very interesting. This is apparently designed to increase activity in my prefrontal cortex. Okay, don't count on it. All right, so in this one, file 200 contains exactly one number n. We have to create a new file in the outbox containing the numbers n through zero in decreasing order. When we are finished, delete file 200. Okay, so this is pretty simple. So we'll link 800 again. We'll grab 200 and we'll copy uh, F to X and then we'll just have X there and then we'll wipe 200 because we have to create a new file. Yeah, and it says to delete file 200 anyways. Okay, and then we'll link to 800 again. Link 800. Okay, and then we got to go uh, make a new file. We got to copy X to F and then we got to go... Um, x equals x minus 1. So how the heck do I do that? Uh, oh wait, sub i x 1 x, right? So we're going to go x minus 1 gets written to x. And then test x equals 0. And uh, oh my goodness, this, is, this code is already getting ridiculous. Okay, and if x equals 0... Then we have to do what's called an F jump. Guys, I, this is just, it just gets ridiculous. And we're going to jump to loop location. So this is the loop location. So basically, if the, yeah, loop, loop. Can I name this loop one? Oh, right, I got to label this as something. Is it, how do I label it? Is it label? Mark, mark loop. There we go. Okay, so this is our label. So this is how we make a loop. So really simply, all this stuff here, we're going to jump to the position. That's all good to stuff. Really simple hacking stuff. No big deal. Uh, master hacker here. And then, of course, this is our loop. So we're going to copy x to the file, and then we're going to subtract x from 1. And if x is equal to 0, we'll jump out of the loop. And if x doesn't equal 0, then we'll continue the loop. So this jump f jump loop is basically a test. And if the test equals 1, then it'll skip this. And if it equals 0, it should jump back. I think that's how it works. So let's just run through it. Link 800, grab 200, copy f to x, wipe 200, link 800, make a file, copy x to the file, subtract test equals zero it's not zero so drop it and perfect look at that and when it equals zero it should go back to zero are we are we supposed to write oh n through zero oh we're supposed to write the zero as well oh well okay well that's fine then we just test if x equals negative one all right nine eight seven six five four three two one zero Look at that. Test run complete. Awesome. Oh my goodness. That one's got so many. Okay, you know what? We'll just let it... Holy cow. Look at all that code. Right on the money. Awesome. All right, so we're done all the tutorials now. Nice work. I knew you could do it. Thank you. No, st yeah, no thanks. You know, let's just... Let's see if there will be... Oh, no, thank you. Okay. There is more talk designed to further excite your prefrontal cortex. Well, my, my prefrontal cortex is definitely excited. Yeah, let's do some real hacking right on. Euclid's Pizza. Are you serious? So you want to know who I am? Yes. I will reveal this information. Let's, uh, let us discuss it over pizza. A free pizza. I want you to use your regained skills first. Uh, you're giving me $700 worth of medication for stealing a pizza. Yeah, that's, that's the question to ask. Yeah, why not? Don't you want a pizza? I mean, I guess. Holy cow. This got complicated and absolutely awesome. Okay, so what do we got to do? Append your order, file 300, to the end of the order list, file 200. Note that all orders, including yours, will consist of exactly five keywords. Okay, we gotta grab 300. Grab our order. Our order's pretty aggressive. You know what, I think this is gonna be easy if we just create a second XA. Have it grab the order in there. It'll go in and do the hacking, and we'll just transmit the data from 300 to it. So XA1 will be, uh, let's see, this one will grab 300. And this one is gonna link its way into the hacking matrix here. So link 800. And file order is 200, so you're going to grab 200. And we need to go through the file and get to the end of the file. So that's the first step that this one's going to have to do. So we're going to seek five because the orders come in groups of five. And actually, we're going to mark this as a loop because we're going to need to do this. And then we're going to go test EOF, which is testing end of file. And if the test is valid, then it won't jump back to the loop. And if the test, so this is F jump, which is a false jump, which basically means if the test is false, jump back. And then we can do a T jump, which means if the test is true, then jump back. So we're going to do test is false, jump back. So if it's not at the end of the file, jump back and seek another five. And then once we get to the end of the file here, we'll be able to copy from the global variable here. All we got to do is copy F to M 
copy F to M, copy F to M. I mean, we could put this in a loop as well, but it's just as easy to do it five times. And then halt this program completely. And here, same thing. We could do this in a loop or we could just go copy MF, copy MF, copy MF, copy MF, and copy MF. And of course, each of these MF sort of copies, it'll wait until the global variable is cleared. So we should be good to go to have these two communicate with each other. So let's just check this out. Grab 300, XB goes into the matrix, grabs 200 in the matrix, seeks five, tests into file, not there yet. Keeps going, it's not there yet. Found end of file. So copy MF, puts in my address, 605 Eddy Street, copies into medium, cheese, extra cheese, anchovies. Oh, I don't want anchovies on the pizza, really? Well, at least they didn't put pineapple on the pizza. Could have been worse. All right, and then I think that's it. So it worked. Append your order to the end of the file, leave no trace. I mean, we moved that block, but I don't think that matters. So let's just run these. Look at that. Ooh, people actually were really good. Time to enjoy pizza. Nice. For you, at least. I'm not going to have any. Guess why? You're a robot. Where's the you're a robot? You're far away. I am an AI construct. Called it. You know, artificial intelligence. Surprise? No, you have a purple face. Why would why would you be anything but a robot? Um, A little, sure. So we have one other cutscene here, I guess. I'm assuming we're getting our medication pizza finally. Delivery. Really? You're the pizza delivery person? I'm an independent operator. I handle a wide range of so was this that whole thing was just a test then like this you gotta hustle yeah so here's your pizza and here's your other package i'm gonna go and eat this pizza now i think it's a really really awesome game but of course let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below i like that you have to type in code and i can't wait to get into more complicated hacks that involve typing all sorts of different exabots right now it's only really been like two of them but once you learn the code that they're using, it's really, really cool to just go in and write all these different lines, do all sorts of cool things, and I can't wait to get into it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.